Hey, welcome back to my awesome YouTube channel guys. Today we are discussing in this short video the concept of SQL access in Elasticsearch. So what is SQL access? So we have a SQL feature which can help us execute SQL queries against Elasticsearch indices and return the results in tabular form. Let's read more about it in the overview. And here we see the same thing that we can run SQL-like queries to be executed in real time against Elasticsearch. And for that, we have a REST interface. We have a command line and we have even JDBC. We see that any client can use SQL to search and aggregate data natively inside Elasticsearch. Next, they say that they can consider Elasticsearch SQL as a translator, something that understands both SQL and Elasticsearch and makes it easy to read and process data in real time at scale by leveraging the capabilities of Elasticsearch. Let us see one more page in the documentation, which is getting started with SQL. So here we have a certain set of data which has been indexed. And in the next line, we see how easy it is to retrieve this data using a certain SQL query. So here we say select star from library because this index is called library where the release date is less than this date. And here we can see that we got a data in tabular form. So let's try it out on our own as well. I am back at my Kibana console and this is the set of data that we have already kept indexed in our user index for this example. Now let me go back to the getting started with SQL page and I can copy this SQL over here. And we will write the query from scratch. So the syntax here is that we send a post request to the path slash underscore SQL and we specify a query. In this case, let us try with the most basic SQL query which is select all rows, select star from users. And let us see what the result will be. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Our index is called user and not users. Hmm. I think so my data might not have been indexed. Okay, so let's send this query again. Yes, in fact, my data was not indexed. So we see that we get all of these eight documents by executing this SQL query in tabular form. Okay, so let us now try out a couple of examples with what we have newly learned and if you know SQL, this is going to be very easy for you. If you don't, this is a good moment to learn something new about SQL. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select everyone who is a software developer. Then we will select all the documents where we have a salary between 4,000 to 8,000. And lastly, we will select anyone whose name starts with an M. So I really encourage all of you to try it out on your own and then we will discuss how to do these. All right, we are back. So do tell me in the comments below what queries you wrote to, to be able to execute these tasks. For the first one, I will simply copy this and I will say that I want to select star from user where the job description is software developer software developer i hit send hmm okay i missed out a where clause here should work now okay i see these three records which happen to have a job description of software developer let's try the next thing where we want that salary should be between 4000 as well as less than 8000. Okay, there we have it. This is really simple SQL. The next thing we want to try is select anyone whose name starts with an M. To do that, I'd say where name again like M and wildcard. Let's hit send. Hmm. Okay. All right, we get Mike and Matt. 
Now suppose I want to see only the salary and job description and not the names. For that, I could simply say that I want to select only salary and job description. I hit send and there you have it. We don't see the names. How about I clear all of this and let's try to perform certain aggregations. Again, I'll copy this and let's try to perform a, let's say a count star, which gives us the total number of rows in this index. Uh, we can see that the count is eight and indeed we have eight documents in our index. How about the total sum of salary that we are paying to the employees along with the say average salary I hit send and I can see the total as well as average salary of all the records I could even filter it out further by saying that where say job description is equal to software developer Again, I hit send and I can see that the sum and average salary of software developers is shown to me. And I feel those are some pretty neat and pretty helpful examples and anyone who knows SQL already should definitely explore this feature of Elasticsearch in more depth and try to use it in your projects. All right, till now we were using Elasticsearch SQL by making use of rest endpoints. Now let us see how we can do the same using command line. Now, since my Elasticsearch installation is based on Docker, I will have to exec into my Docker container, access the shell, and that is from where I can launch the Elasticsearch SQL CLI. Do not worry if you're not familiar with Docker, just try to follow along. And if you want to learn about Docker more in details, you can see a playlist in the I button above and you can learn more about Docker from there. All right, so firstly, I say docker ps and I can see that I have a Elasticsearch container running. Next, I would like to say docker exec minus it. I give the name of my container and the command I want to run in this container is the bin bash. And since I have used the minus i flag, it will allow me to access the terminal interactively. That is, it will wait for standard input. Okay, so I am inside my terminal. Next, I am going to execute the jar file for Elasticsearch SQL CLI. So for that, I would have to make use of Java and then I specify the name of the jar file, which is Elasticsearch SQL CLI 7.9.2. In my case, your version might be a little different. And then I give it the IP address of Elasticsearch. Hmm. Okay, so I missed the jar file flag over here. I say minus jar. I hit enter and I can see that my terminal is up and running. So here I will be running some of the same queries that I ran through Kibana. So let us see what happens when I say select star from user. And yes, this is the data that I had already indexed in the user index. Let me clear my screen and just for the sake of it, let me try out something more. Select star from user where salary is greater than 5,000. Hmm. Okay, I made another typo from. Okay, so it is working as expected. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are the basics of Elasticsearch SQL. Do explore it more in depth. Here is all the documentation that you need to learn more about it. Do tell me all the fun things that you're learning in the comments below and we can have a discussion. If you like the content of the video, do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please hit subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching.